So, uh, today is uh, 24th of um, March 2020. So, uh, it's kind of funny because uh, this is something uh, I'm about to embark on a project that I would normally get a professional to come and do for me. However, due to the current lockdown, I've decided to embark on this project myself. I'm not a professional in any way, but I'm just going to throw everything I've got into it. The lockdown has meant most service has been slower than usual, so our skip delivery was, was also delayed and we had to store all the earth in bean bags pending the delivery of our skip. I used a staple gun to secure the membrane to the garden fence in order to prevent weeds from our neighbor's garden coming through. I use five parts sand, one part cement and grey bricks to create a base for the garden fence.
making sure the depth of the channel drainage was deep enough to allow a free flow of water on both sides of the paving. For the corner drain, I use a flow pass brand and I will leave some of the links to the actual products in the description box below. I will also advise to use the same kind of brand for both the channel drain grate and the channel drain corner as I use different brands and it was a bit of a nightmare for me. The original supply we got was not enough so we had to get individual bags from B&Q via the click and collect service as we could no longer make bulk orders. We were also unable to hire worker plates due to the lockdown so we had to improvise and lay the slabs on the sub base and leave it for a day so that it can compress the base underneath. This has shown that the worker plates might be important but you can do without it and especially if you are on a low budget and you want to save money or maybe you are doing a small area. Something about 
So the next phase was the artificial grass. We had initially planned to get stuff, but we decided to go for artificial grass as we think that would be better. Here we use 45 bags of sharp sand on top of the cell base to cushion the grass. I had a few weed control left over so I decided to use it for extra weed control. You don't need to follow this step as you already have it below your surface. I used tough U-pin metal pegs to secure the artificial grass about one inch apart from each other in order to ensure a firm grip and prevent movement. We'll 
stones used for the side of the fence is the Cosword 20mm chippings from Gravelmaster and it adds a really beautiful finishing to the garden. I'm really happy with the end product of this project. It has not been easy at all, I must say. I encountered a lot of challenges and delays all due to the world's current climate, but really happy with the outcome of it. If this video inspires you, let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Bye guys.